Fiona on furlough in North Yorkshire. Oh my God, he got me on Friday. That was you, are Fiona on furlough. <laughs> Tom, last night I was made aware of your escapades. Um, my girlfriend showed me a compilation of all the wild things you've been getting up to on BBC Radio 1. To Fiona in Yorkshire. Like, oh. Fiona on furlough in North Yorkshire. <laughs> Hello to Fiona, who... Hello, Fiona, on furlough in North no. Yorkshire. So firstly, how does it feel to be the country's biggest prankster? Um, it feels very bizarre. It's um, what started off as just sort of, you know, texting the radio with uh, what I was doing through, well, it mainly started through lockdown and everything. And, you know, it was a bit of bit of fun. I was like, oh, I'm getting a few here. And uh, then I, um, I tweeted the compilation that I um, put out there. And um, it, Jordan saw it first and then Greg got involved and it's just been mental they sent me these challenges of uh trying to be someone else and uh next thing you know it's um <laughs> yeah yeah here uh, we are. there's got to be an element of luck to it i suppose in, in getting uh your 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 names that your your names that you've created on the radio so how how, how would one go about doing this kind of thing i'm intrigued <laughs> i don't really know if there's a knack to it as such it's more a case of um i think timing when you send a message is sort of key when it sort of they'll suggest like oh you can get in touch now and they'll play a song and it's like you've got to get it in that time frame so they're sort of looking at the text screen and not uh watching uh you know not talking to you and um it's also just sort of making yourself sound i don't know interesting i guess it's um just being a bit out there i don't know if <laughs> there isn't an answer that i can be like oh you have to type in uh, such and such words and it, yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> no god how <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah. you're fiona on furlough and tom uh, is it easy to pull the wool over greg james's eyes it would appear so because i never really <laughs> intended on doing it and uh i know i did that on the three in an hour and i was messaging the producers and they were like you had some head pit in the desk because greg knew nothing about it he knew nothing about what i'd got up to and it is so crazy really and, uh, just finally tom um if you had a message to give greg james uh, after <laughs> essentially pranking all of the radio presenters at BBC, uh, what would it be? Save my name in your contacts, I think. <laughs> <laughs>